Okay, so I'll be going over the help desk ticketing database and how you can use this database within your business. Alright, so the purpose of this database is to answer calls at a help desk, answering emails and passing them along, and overall bettering your customer service. Um, so let's start by going into the tickets section. Um, when someone calls your business, um, you have to mark it down what they wanted. Um, so the best way to do that is to have a help desk ticket database. So for a title, you will, you can put in exactly um, what they needed help with um, the problem. So it's it's easier for the people who who are solving this problem or answering this ticket. It'll be easier for them to to gauge what the what the ticket is all about. So um, just for an example, we'll, for the title, we'll put need help processing order um, let's go to assign to uh, these are all staff within your organization um, let's say it was assigned to John Simmons and it was opened by Lisa Richards um, the due date is tomorrow so the priority should be high um, status let's say it's active uh, the category is category 2 um, you can put new comments, um, new customer, you, know, you can put whatever in the uh, in the comments or the description section. It's really for internal purposes and it's really to help better that customer service and solve those customers problems really quickly and efficiently. So we'll save that and if you go to search you can see all of the help desk tickets for the people that call um, no so so once you have a, a active list of different customers and different problems you'll you'll really see the benefit of it and seeing how organized everything is and getting back to those people will be ten times as easier so going back to the main menu um, these other buttons pretty much serve to function with this button right here um, the contacts is for adding those new staff members and people in the drop down menu um, let's close this for a second so we have three three contacts so far um, we add a new contact and that can either be a staff or that can also be a customer as well it all depends on how you want to structure and work this database so pretty simple pretty straightforward um, you have all the people here um, you can search for those people just like any other database or any other contact contact database um, the main maintain list button pretty much edits all of the items in the drop down menus um, so you have category 1, 2, and 3 you can change that to make it more descriptive if you want to um, the priority I suggest leaving that the same this is pretty straightforward and uh, the status you, you can change some of those as well but again I suggest leaving it how it is um, but it's really up to you it's your database uh, you use it however you want and lastly the reports uh, pretty much like any other database you just have these open reports um, let's just go to the contact uh, you now you have we didn't enter any phone numbers but you have a running list of all of the contacts all our business phone mobile phone home phone things of that nature so that's pretty much what this database does um, yeah it is for answering calls uh, answering emails and seeing what their inquiry was and passing along to the right person within your organization and overall just better in your customer service um, so we, we hope this video has been helpful and we hope this database could be helpful for you within your business um, I'll leave the link in the description below for how to download a sample of this database which is free only thing is you won't be able to save any of the entries so um, you can purchase the full version which is completely yours and you have the full source and code and everything like that so um, 
Thank you for watching the video. I'll leave those links and please don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.